And here's Hideo and Tommy, folks, the man from Tokyo, looking to cause more damage. Well executed. The cutter stops him in his tracks. Oh, yeah, here's Hideo and Tommy. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. I can't believe the referee didn't see that. hard to rebound from that one. What? I mean, come, look what's going on. This is an injustice. A horrific injustice. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Hart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. A few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. Oh man, this has gotten ugly now. He's taking some offense. He came into this match expecting a fight, and that's exactly what he's getting. It looks to me like his partner's itching to get in there. And now might be a good time to give him what he wants. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. He's on the defensive here. Well, it's not the dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. Extremely dangerous stretch here. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Gets out of the way of that one. Warm up the buses. This one's over. Well, I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that 
couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE. Here he goes. Wham! I don't care who you are. That'll knock you out. He's back in control here. He's gentleman's drop kick and not a hair out of place. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. Penny predicament. A vicious axe handle finds its target. match in recent memory that was even close to as good as that one was. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. There's good, there's great, and then there's downright unbelievable WWE action. Ladies and gentlemen, you just got a taste of the unbelievable kind. Competition. They just took the game to a whole other level. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw these teams going back to it at some point in the very near future.